Well, when you realize a UFC title shot at 170 pounds, that is saying something most people would argue. This is as deep as any division in the UFC, and this man undeniably the number one contender as he makes the walk tonight. He has separated himself from the pack. The only person left is the champion. He has done everything necessary to be viewed as a guy that could hold this championship belt. Now's his moment. He has got to lock in for 25 minutes because it's going to take all of that 25 to beat this great champion. Big spot for this young man tonight. Well, and a lot of his UFC experience, he believes, is going to help him in this setting. He's been measured with his energy all week. Nerves do not appear to be an issue. We'll see if by night's end we have a new champion. All right, the UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov get back on the proven ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula there? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Habib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him, you will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbulla get in there between rounds. Little guy's got a lot to say. <laughs> All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> in the business, Herb fight. Dean is our referee Ready. tonight. Good. Well, they say everybody loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. All right, the wrestler having little trouble engaging here in the clinch, and as you well know, he's got a lot of trips and takedowns from this very position. Well, he manipulates you. He manipulates you from the underhook. He gets to the underhook and starts to move forward, backwards. He's tripping. He's foot sweeping you. He has so many different ways to get you to the ground that you can never really feel comfortable from this clinch position. Lands a hook there. Too easy. Takedown, opposition knew it was coming, unable to stop it as usual. Well, he'll tell you. He'll tell you that he's going to take you down. And he has so many ways of getting to that takedown. He's as good as they come in terms of setting him up. And right away, he gets to fight exactly where he needs it to be. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. There it is. Now he's on the mount. In the half guard. Nurmago Medov's back in full mount. 
Yep, got to be very careful there. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage, courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Drakus Duplessis. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. Making all these shots count. Trying to get a triangle here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, struggling to create an angle here, champ. He's a fighter, man. He's gonna fight every day. He's gonna take off here. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and his show in that defense. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, right into mouth. Now he's got a good body position, yup. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But stop, stop, stop. if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Big strike lands, and now he looks to try to take down that pitch. All right, into full guard here. Look for a pass immediately in the half guard to keep advancing the position. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Nermago Medov. Another strike gets through from the top position. Nermanko Medov's in half goal. All right, side control now. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across the body. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get subbed. Three minutes to go in round two. Oh, good defense. Yes. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that ground. Oh! Oh my goodness. Back and forth we go. All right, so there it is with the punch. One thing to have a reach advantage, another to employ. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. He's got the single collar tie. Oh, short up the of a clinch by Duplessis. He's going to get it, Wow, that is great submission defense. Getting the ball here. 
looking for the submission once again. He's fighting. He wants this very bad. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. You gotta be kidding me. How good is this submission? This is constantly dodging bullets, J.A. Oh, you better tap or that thing's gonna snap. He's got it isolated. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels, and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Let those hands go. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Nice jab by the Marco Meta. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice kick to the midsection. So Khabib Nurmagomedov at his methodical best tonight and gets another takedown right there. Khabib is one of those guys that will tell you what he's going to do, and he will go and he will do it. And right now, that's being shown to be true because time and time again, he is securing takedowns on his opponent. Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh, oh. And landed some nasty strikes. the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. He passes the half. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. He's very accurate in the ground and ground, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Under two minutes now to go. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now he's going full mount. He's gotta be careful here. He's having his way with him here. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. One minute now to go on the third. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Nermago Medov's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. He's trying to tighten the grip on his guillotine choke. He seems to have it, but he's got to really get his hips up into his opponent and make sure his opponent doesn't roll off to the side. Oh, look at this. Jumps over on the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Great submission defense. Huh. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful Ready that he can fight. get it back together Ready. before the start of the next Ready. round. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh! Oh, gotta keep pressing here!
I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 32 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Gregor.